Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a very cool black colored ashtray with white printing for the Boulevard Cafeteria in Midtown Oklahoma City. It doesn't really show a whole lot of signs of use. I haven't looked at it that closely. I wiped it down when I got it, but I didn't notice any ash stains or buildup or really any discoloration coming off when I wiped it down. This was apparently really some kind of icon in Midtown Oklahoma City starting back in 1948. So it says the Boulevard, Oklahoma's largest cafeteria, Kent at Classen Drive, which I drive that area every day nowadays and I'm a little bit confused about exactly where the original location was. So we took a little drive through Midtown Oklahoma City to give you a look at the vestigial remnants of what used to be the Boulevard Cafeteria. You see Kong's here on the right. You see the Midtown sign coming up there on the other side of the roundabout. To the left right here would have been the old IMSA headquarters which was torn down just a few years ago. Have Brown's Bakery right there on the right. This video was actually recorded in 2021. I'm just now getting around to editing it. So just like the IMSA headquarters, there are some things that may be different today than they were in 2021. We are on Walker Avenue approaching Northwest 11th and that is the source of some of my confusion. As we turn the corner here you will see a sign for the Boulevard Cafeteria. The ashtray said 10th and Classen Drive which 10th was the roundabout and Classen Drive is up at the next intersection you see there which we will take a ride on but I'm still a little bit confused how the cafeteria that was located at 10th and Classen Drive now has a sign between Classen Drive and Walker on Northwest 11th. But that was all before my time. You see St. Anthony Hospital right here to the left and just east of that would have been the IMSA headquarters. Now we will make the extended right hand turn past Dewey and onto Classen Drive which will take us out of Midtown. If anyone out there is familiar with or ever ate at the Boulevard Cafeteria, let me hear from you. You can see it may show dings, scuffs, but I don't really see any chips, at least that are apparent. Also don't see a whole lot if any paint loss. Clearly read the Boulevard, Oklahoma's largest cafeteria. All that appears to be there, at least to my eyes. And 10th at Class and Drive, including the period all appear to be there so it's in very nice condition very low profile sleek design I really like it a lot it would be perfect for what I use ashtrays for I did find an article just in a quick Google search from the Daily Oklahoman 
when the Boulevard Cafeteria closed, which was in 2015, I believe, where it mentioned a lot of family strife and sounds like dueling uh, cafeterias opened up. It mentions a couple of Queen Anne cafeterias owned by the same Schroer family that ended up owning it, I believe, after 1956. It mentions that it was located at 10th and Dewey, where IMSA is now located. Of course, that IMSA building has been leveled now. I think it was somewhere around 2022. But I'm kind of confused about where it was actually located at 525 northwest 11th there is a marker there now I guess because it's a historic building even though the building's not actually there it's a historic lot I guess um, it's where the neighborhood jam is now located and I believe there are a bunch of offices also in that building but I would call that 11th and class and drive 10th and class and drive or 10th at class and drive would be where McNelly's now stands, I believe. Maybe somebody that knows the area, somebody knows Oklahoma City better than I do, maybe they can correct me. I'm not sure exactly. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Long way around to say, I don't know exactly where the original restaurant or cafeteria, the Boulevard Cafeteria was located. But apparently, the article made it sound like Oklahoma City invented cafeterias or something. They like doing that kind of thing around here. Talked about uh, that the Boulevard Cafeteria had been open since 1948 and that it also broke a string of Oklahoma City having a cafeteria. Uh, since 1928 and it listed off, I don't know, half a dozen or ten of them. I might have mentioned one of them already. I don't remember the others. O'Mearley's seems like one of them. McNelly's was definitely not one of the names mentioned. <laughs> so this will be your opportunity to purchase this ashtray. Dependableflame.com slash current eBay listings. This video will be embedded into the eBay listing and will also be featured there on that page of the website, dependableflame.com slash current eBay listings, along with the photo gallery for your viewing pleasure. Until next time.